Welcome, welcome to the webinar, Meridian. Welcome, welcome. We'll get started in about seven minutes. Meridian, do you have some guests getting on tonight? Welcome, welcome to the webinar. We'll get started in about seven minutes. You can put in the chat box if you're a guest or if you are a business partner, let us know. We want to welcome each and every one of you this evening. You still have plenty of time to get some people to join us. Yeah, we've got about six minutes. Pick up your phone, give them a call, have them tune in. We would love to have them. Welcome, welcome to the webinar. We'll get started in about four minutes. Good evening, I'm in the business. Let me know what your name is, uh, Wakana Academy. What is your name? You said that you're in the business. I would love to know what your name is. On the Zoom, it says Wakana Academy. You know, if you're in the business and you're on the line, put in the chat who your sponsor is. I would love to know that as well. You're in the business, let us know who your sponsor is. We want to welcome Shirley and Robert and Ray and Meridian. Dr. Conti. Welcome, welcome to the webinar. Just promoted you as a panelist. Uh, who else do we have? Hello there. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Well. So glad to have you. Did you have a great birthday? Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I think I had too much of a good time for my birthday this year. Oh, <laughs> so deserving, you know? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And if you're available tomorrow, you know, I'm going to do dementia tomorrow. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So Evelyn Sandifer, welcome, welcome. You are, uh, your sponsor is Dr. Ross. Well, we want to welcome you. If you are a business partner, we want you to put in the chat your business partner and let us know who your sponsor is. We just wanna know who everyone is. If you're a guest, you can put in the chat who invited you. We've got about two minutes before we start. Gia B. 
thing, Kat. I'm not sure what you're saying, but you said, oh, your business partner. Yes. See, I forgot what question I asked that quickly. Welcome, welcome to the webinar. We'll get started shortly. We've got one minute before we get started. And Dr. Roz is your upline too. That's uh, Rwanda. Welcome, welcome to the webinar. So glad to, to meet each and every one of you. Don't be shy. Put in the chat box who your sponsor is if you're a business partner and if you're a guest, we want to know who invited you. Well, it is eight o'clock and we're gonna get started. Um, we wanna welcome all of our business partners and all of our guests this evening. I'm Dr. Rita McGuire, Chief Medical Officer here at Wakana, one of the co-founders. And yes, I'm still at the hospital, but super excited to uh, really bring on our very first presenter our very first presenter is a new Ruby in our business. Congratulations, Dr. Joy Smith. She's a PharmD, she's a pharmacist. She's one of the lead pharmacists here in Chicago at Stroger Hospital. You know, I did my residency at Cook County, so it's the new Cook County Hospital. She's a wife, she's a mom of an amazing little girl who's five years old. Miss Ayana. And um, about a year ago, I met Dr. Joy Smith's husband at a networking event. And absolutely, he was like, you've got to talk to my wife right now, because she has a passion for people. She has a passion for natural, holistic ways of addressing health. And she will be such an asset to your company. And guess what? Every single thing he said was absolutely true. An asset to our company, an amazing resource for us here at Wakana, a boss of a businesswoman. And I want to present no other than our new Ruby here at Wakana, Dr. Joy Smith. Oh my goodness, Dr. Rita, that introduction. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate what kind of I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate everything that I have learned thus far and all that I will continue to learn. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I am going to pull up my slides so that you all can see them. Okay. Oh, someone said Dr. Joy is a joy. She is. Oh, thank you. Well, while I'm, <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. While I am sharing my slides, I'll tell you a little bit about my story. Um, I am, as Dr. Rita said, a pharmacist at the County Hospital um, in Chicago, Illinois. And I went from being a pharmacist to saying, I feel like I want to do something more. I want to learn more about how to impact lives, not just on the medication realm, but just in another way. I didn't really know what that was going to be. So my brother got diagnosed with cancer in 2014, and though he's okay now, um, his journey and learning about natural healing and ways that he can um, use natural things and holistic methods to heal himself, um, in addition to some of the traditional things that he had to do, kind of sparked my entire family to say, okay, well, how can we find our niche in this whole natural wellness space? And so um, for me, it was aromatherapy. I became a certified aromatherapist. For me, it was going through my health coaching program and really learning about 
um, how the body can heal itself by itself when given half the chance. And also be, you being able to utilize um, you know, plant-based healing as an option. So when I decided to go down that road and aromatherapy stole my heart and health coaching stole my heart, I feel like Wakana came in and just brought everything together. Um, Wakana is, is aligned with who I am, wanting to give back to community. My family is based in service, wanting to um, learn another way, another way where you don't have to answer to anyone else, but you can build your own legacy, build your own wealth, build your own health and build your own freedom. I was really, really intrigued by that. And I truly appreciate the co-founders for even creating this space for me to be able to thrive here. So that's a little bit about me. Um, I am going to show, tell you exactly who I am. I, like I said, I'm an aromatherapist. And in this picture, you see me at Gildas Club, which is a cancer support organization for people in Chicago and other areas of the, the US. Um, I'm doing like a DIY, uh, essential oil presentation to kind of teach people about what essential oils do and help them to make their own preparations in that space. On the right hand side, you see me and my family, my husband, which is the reason why I met Dr. Rita, because again, they met at the networking event and Dr. Rita's patient, Ayana. So she thinks that Dr. Rita is her eye doctor. That's what she calls her. We just go with it. I mean, that just is what it is. So these are my, my loves, my love for plant-based oils, my love for my family, and also my love for Wakanda. So let's talk about the cannabis industry because that's why we're here. The cannabis industry is booming. It went from illegal to essential. The plant used to be on schedule one drug list with other drugs with abusive potential or abuse potential. And that just simply wasn't the case. And we're gonna learn more about how cannabis should not have even been in that category in the first place. But now the cannabis industry is booming. You're seeing magazines like Rolling Stone, like Buzzfeed News, like all the magazines in CVS and Walgreens that have that hemp plant just stamped on the front because people are understanding that cannabis is becoming the wave of the future. There's no bigger business that we're gonna see in our lifetime. When you're talking about the revenue, they're saying that CBD, the CBD market can reach 20 billion by 2024. And I am sure that that number is going to be surpassed by that time. I mean, the industry is just continuing to grow. And Wakanda is providing a ground floor opportunity. So when you're talking about our revenue projections in millions, we started on April 20th of 2019. We were starting about 2.5 million and we're projected to do 20 million in the year of 2021. And with the way that our November just went, with the way that our, our business has been uh, president proof, uh, pandemic proof, our, our uh, revenue has continued to go up even in the midst of all of these challenges that we've had. It's just been amazing to watch this business grow and amazing and an honor to be a part of it. So Wakana, we're not just a business. We're not just a CBD company that decided to just throw up a building and say, hey, we're in business. No, we are a movement and we exist to help end the negative stigma that's caused so many communities around the world to suffer and lose out on the health and wealth benefits of the cannabis plant. I'm sure you all know someone or know a family member or somebody who's been on the wrong side of the law when it comes to cannabis. And that is just simply not right. We need to understand that the cannabis plant has some benefit as well. So we're the catalyst to stir a movement that allows people to confidently move into the legal space of cannabis as entrepreneurs, as formulators, as investors, making sure that they have the courage and strength to take back their health, wealth, legacy, and freedom. And who is responsible for what Wakana is, Wakana the movement? Our four co-founders, they are amazing women. You have Dr. Rita McGuire, who's on with me right now. She is our chief medical officer and also the best sponsor ever. Um, she is an OBGYN who's been in practice over 30 years. She is um, a CBD expert. She's been using CBD with her patients over the last three years and just really seeing how this plant-based holistic option is really helping them to address a lot of their health concerns. She testified before the governor um, on the Judiciary Committee as to the medical benefit of cannabis. And so she's really been an advocate for patients and different people who are having so many diseases to use a natural method of healing, right? So Dr. Patricia Van Pelt, our president, she is amazing. She's an evangelist, an author, a mother. She's serving her third term in the state Senate. And she's what I like to call our mindset guru. Anytime we're having a training, anytime we're having um, anything where we need to learn how to have a wealthy mindset, she is right there coaching us right through it. 
Melissa Boston, who is our CEO, she is a powerhouse in her own right. She has been, um, she's trained 50,000 distributors in over 40 different countries. She retired at the age of 33 and a half. I mean, I'm 31, I'll be 32 in a few days. And if I could retire at 33 and a half, I would love it. She is an amazing woman, the true visionary for our company. And she's making sure that we stay on the cutting edge of this cannabis industry as are all our co-founders. And our fabulous Phyllis Nash, who is our chief sales officer. She's what we like to call our midwife. So Dr. Rita is the OBGYN. Phyllis is our midwife of our company. And she's making sure that we birth all the abilities that Wakana has to offer. So the reason these four ladies were even able to do what they did was what kind of was a 2018 farm bill, which states that CBD that comes from the hemp species of the cannabis plant can be sold, cultivated, and consumed in all 50 states, so long as it has 0.3% of THC or less in the products that are, that are created. So you may be saying, what is CBD? I've heard a lot about it. It's buzzing, it's booming, but what is it? So CBD is a compound that naturally occurs in industrial hemp. There's more than 85 different cannabinoids in this plant, but the most common next to the Delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol or THC that you're familiar with that's in high abundance in the marijuana species, there's CBD, which is the second most common. Now CBD is non-psychotropic. It produces the health without the high. And what I like to hear from uh, Coach Dan, uh, our VP of training, he says, the THC will get you high, but the CBD, it makes you whole. And I really like that analogy because there are so many health benefits to CBD. THC is a good part of the plan as well, but CBD is the star here in what we're talking about. So what kind of products are third party tested? They're fully compliant with the State Department of Agriculture and all of our hemp is grown in accordance with that farm bill that we just talked about that was passed in 2018. So it's really about learning and unlearning. I mean, as soon as you say cannabis, people think, oh, I'm going to get high. I'm going to get arrested. No, I'm not doing that. And that's just simply not true. There are many components to this cannabis plant, but we're going to focus on THC and CBD. So when you're talking about THC, there's psychoactive effects. It stimulates receptors in the brain's pleasure center, releases a higher than normal level of dopamine and creates a high. Doesn't make this the bad part of a plant, but it does make it different than what CBD is. CBD is non-intoxicating. You can still function. Stimulates receptors in the brain that regulate pain perception, anxiety, nausea, and so many other health benefits that we'll get into a little bit later. And there's even medical applications like anti-inflammatory or providing pain relief. And this is what I really want you to focus on. This is a chart talking about the different cannabinoids and what benefits they have in the body. But I specifically want to focus on THC and CBD. So with THC, you'll know that it helps to reduce pain. It helps to reduce nausea and vomiting. It might improve muscle spasms. But as you move over to the CBD column, you see that it's just like really leading the charge. Almost all of these, all of this column is black from pain relief to helping with nausea and vomiting to stimulating bone growth to having anti-tumor properties, making sure that those cells don't split so fast that they create tumors, um, helping with seizures, antibacterial, neuroprotective, anti-inflammatory, just, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. You can go to your favorite search engine, you can find out about CBD and, and you can pull up tons of articles, especially now that CBD is legal in the United States, more and more research is being done. And the reason that CBD can even work is the endocannabinoid system. I know Dr. Conti, I see you on here. How are you? Good evening. Dr. Conti is here. Dr. Rita is here. I'm here. In all of our disciplines, we didn't learn much about the endocannabinoid system in school. But now that we know about it, we know that everybody with a spinal cord has an endocannabinoid system. And we have receptors all over our body, in our brain, our heart, our teeth, our stomach, lungs, liver, pretty much any place that you can think about in your body, there are receptors looking for cannabis, looking for CBD to bring the body back in balance or homeostasis. Our products, our products are amazing. We have a wide variety. This is just only a small subset of our products, but please know that we have CBD products that are quality and that can address the needs that you have. Just keep in mind though, if you're talking about any inhaled or smokable CBD products, they have smokable hemp, excuse me. They've been banned in Louisiana, North Carolina, Kentucky, Indiana, and the ban in Texas has been lifted. But all of those other states that I mentioned, you want to make sure that you're consuming CBD lawfully. So smokable hemp is banned in those areas. 
But talking about our CBD products that we do have, um, we have culinary products, we have essential oils, we have topical products for uh, relief or to assist with that pain relief. We have tinctures, gummies, smokable products, uh, our immune defense tea, and there's so much more. Um, what you'll notice is that our products have black and white labels, especially if you're trying to distinguish between power and pure. Now, what does that mean? Power means that there is 0.3% of THC or less in that product. So if you have random drug screens at your job, um, this one has a potential to show up on that drug screen. Will it get you high? No. Will it have you intoxicated and not being able to function? No, but everybody uh, processes THC differently in their body. So you wanna make sure that if you have random drug screens or just don't want THC in your product for whatever reason, and you go over to our pure products and our pure products are less than 0.0% .0 of THC. So such a negligible amount that it will not show up on a drug screen. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing and selecting your CBD products. Now, this is a product spotlight. I really love to do these product spotlights because it really highlights not only what I use in, in my routine, but just what are some of the most common products that we have. So for me, I'll be fully transparent. I have really bad pain when it comes to my time of the month, right? And I used to be the one to pre-medicate with Tylenol, ibuprofen, what have you, like starting days before um, my cycle was going to start and then continuing throughout. But what we over-the-counter pain medications is that they can cause issues with your kidney and your liver over time. And we don't know how much of that is going to cause those issues. So why not use a plant-based, more holistic, more option to address those issues? So for me personally, I'll do my tincture in the morning and the evening. I put about, I started with three drops, but I went up to six. Um, I'll do uh, six drops in the morning, and if I need them at night, I will, but I hold it under my tongue for 30 to 60 seconds, and then swallow and wait about 15 minutes before I eat just to make sure that all of that CBD is absorbed. I'll use a pure gummy here during the day, um, and that one, I just like to use the pure gummy because that power gummy, I really use at night because it helps me with that restful sleep. If I don't want to be too relaxed during the day, I'll use a pure gummy, and I'll also take the topical and rub that on my abdomen. Um, and that's really been able to help and help me within about 15 minutes. Everyone is different, but I can speak for what works for me. Now our inhaled products, our uh, pre-roll, I have one here, our pre-roll. Um, our pre-roll, our vape cartridges are amazing because if you're looking to address issues within a short amount of time, you have a headache you need to get rid of, some anxiety that you need to rid yourself of. Um, you know, issues that you need to deal with right away are smokable products get into your bloodstream within one to five minutes. So it's really good for those issues that you need to address right away, as well as uh, good to layer on top of some other, other products if you're dealing with extreme pain issues and those types of things. Our culinary products are amazing. I guarantee you that these flavor profiles, you will find a way to use each and every one of them as I have. Whether you're seasoning your salads, your, uh, your meats, your uh, popcorn, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. And it also contains our CBD. So then you have an opportunity to get that into your system as well during, during the time that you're cooking. Now you won't, don't wanna use culinary for all of your CBD needs if you need to be using it for something else, but this is just another way where you can measure and dose out how much you're supposed to be taking and then use your CBD in accordance with that. Um, our culinary oil and our butter were a seasonal product, but we do have a CBD flour where you can make your own culinary oil or butter using that CBD flour. Our essential oils. I told you all I was a, I'm an aromatherapist and I just love, love, love essential oils. Our black seed, our eucalyptus, our peppermint, our tea tree, they are all amazing. In our certification, we dive deep into the, the uh, uses of all of them. But this peppermint oil is sticking out because Dr. Rita was using it prior to the last call and really giving herself that wake up, um, rubbing it in between her hands. I like to use our peppermint spray for that. And I also like to use it on my mask because I don't know about you healthcare workers, but I don't know if they're giving you masks as you walk through the door, but some of our masks tend to smell like mothballs and I'm just not a fan. I just don't like it. Um, so I've been using the peppermint oil on my mask as well to not only help me with that just invigorating aroma, but to get rid of some of that mothball smell. 
Now, our essential defense and first defense are so important because they contain essential oils that viruses cannot live in the presence of. Again, we don't say that we cure, we treat, we diagnose, none of that stuff. But what I will say is that there is proven science behind the essential oils that are contained in these products. Whether you're using the essential defense, a drop in your tea, um, a drop on your toothbrush as you're brushing your teeth, really getting into those oral membranes, or whether you're using our first defense nasal spray to go up into your nostrils. You only need one spray, it packs a punch, but it's really allowing that, that uh, those essential oils and in our first defense nasal spray, that full spectrum CBD to really get into your system and help to defend you against what's going on in the atmosphere. Because as Dr. Rita always says, we can control our host, the host, our cells, but we cannot control this virus. So we need to do what we need to do to make sure that we're protecting ourselves. Our hemp power hair is amazing. Again, full of essential oils, full of our full spectrum CBD to really address that hair loss, um, nourishing that hair follicle, whether the hair loss is from stress or, um, I don't know, the aging or hairstyles that are too tight, what have you. If there is still some life in that follicle, this hemp powered hair can work to restore that follicle and bring it back to life. Whether you're looking for uh, strengthening your edges, thickening your beard for the fellas, Everybody has a use for hemp powered hair because it can really help to nourish that follicle. And even if your hair is already healthy, you don't have any issues with growth, that hemp powered hair is really going to help to keep it healthy. And our trichologist Doris Mosley teaches us about how it's for all hair types, not just kinky, not just straight hair, but for all hair types. And we have a business partner, Michael, who not only uses it topically, but he uses it uh, under the tongue because it is a tincture as well. Now, keep in mind, it is one of our power tinctures. So you remember it has 0.3% of THC or less, which means that if you have random drug screens, you only want to use it topically because what do we know about topical THC? It does not cross the blood brain barrier. That way it will not show up on a drug screen. Now, just a little disclaimer, we don't sell our, our products to anybody under the age of 18 and our vaping products are not for sale to persons under the age of 21. If you're under a doctor's care, if you're pregnant, you're nursing on medications, have any serious medical conditions, what have you, always make sure that your doctor knows about what it is that you're taking, whether it's a holistic um, way of taking something or whether it's our traditional medications and those types of things because you want to make sure that your holistic methods of healing and your traditional methods of healing are not fighting with each other inside of your body one way to do that is to have your cbd taken about two hours from your prescription medications um, and then what you'll also know like dr rita mentioned on our last call is that it's surprising how many medications cbd does not interact with so, I mean, you always want to make sure you do those checks. I frequently do uh, drug interaction checks, but you just want to make sure and you want to make sure that your doctor knows what's going on. Also, know that Dr. Conti, Dr. Rita, me, Dr. Joy, we're not your doctors. So we are not saying that we're not diagnosing you. We're not treating, we're not curing or preventing any disease. We are just simply giving you a holistic option to address some of the issues that you may be dealing with or some of the symptoms that may become as a result of some of the issues that you may be dealing with. Now we have real results from real people, whether it's our business partners, our customers, people who are really understanding that not only is Wakana a movement that's helping us to take back health, wealth, legacy, and freedom, but it's also a, a company that has quality products. We, we hold our products to a high standard. We have integrity when we're putting out any product. And they know our real results from real people, they know that this is what's happening. We're doctor recommended. You see here Dr. Rita and myself, Dr. Napasha Gettings, who is a clinical psychiatrist down in the South Florida area. We want her to come home, but I wouldn't be able to turn away that, that hot weather either. Um, Dr. Tyus Crawford, Dr. Erica Montgomery, Dr. Herman Glass, Dr. Rashonda Conti, who was on the panel with us, and so many more healthcare providers that are a part of Wakanda that really believe in our movement, believe in our products, recommend these products to their families, to their, uh, their patients, to their friends, because they know that we are really providing a product that is helping people and changing their lives. So why shop Wakanda? There's premium products at affordable prices. We have a 30 day money back down to the bottom of the bottle guarantee. And that just speaks to how much we trust and how much we know that our products truly do help. Um, third party testing, full panel testing and high quality products. See, we have certificates of analysis with our products. So our products, we let you know 
What we say is in the bottle is actually in the bottle. We have paperwork, basically a, a certificate of analysis is basically a list of all the ingredients that are inside of the product that you're holding in your hand. It shows you what, it, what is in the product and also what is not in the product. So no mold, mildew, pesticides, any heavy metals, anything that is gonna compromise the health and wellness of our consumers, of our business partners, it's not included. We're organically grown at the farms that we utilize and we're giving back to communities, whether it's providing young people with employment to learn about this cannabis industry, whether it's uh, giving food and meals to families who had to go without this season. We are committed to being a movement and not just a business that was just thrown up somewhere. Um, I am really, really excited to be a part of this industry, to be a part of this specific company at such a time as this, because this is just a groundbreaking opportunity. Um, I really thank our four co-founders for going and preparing a place for us. We, they've been called the Harriet Tubman's of this industry for a reason. And the last thing that Harriet Tubman said before she died is I go to prepare a place for you. And when you're preparing a place for people, you're thinking about others, not just yourself. And that's exactly what these co-founders have done. So I'm so grateful. I'm so glad to have an opportunity to talk on Tuesdays with Dr. Rita and whatever other healthcare professionals get on the line with us in the form of our medical advisory board. And Dr. Rita, I'll give it back to you. Wow, thank you so much, Dr. Joy. That was outstanding. And I just want each and every one of you to really put in the chat how appreciative you are of Dr. Joy. You know, Dr. Joy not only is a wife, but she's a mom and a pharmacist. So we truly appreciate the time and commitment and the sacrifice that you make to educate us here at Wakana. I do wanna bring up another healthcare professional and Dr. Rashonda Conti, we have to get you on the flyer. Dr. Rashonda Conti also is a mom. She also is a clinical psychologist that works with addiction. She is an amazing business partner and boss, just like Dr. Joy, who is a Ruby in our company. Dr. Rashonda, Con Rashonda Conte is an emerald in our company, but I just want her to share just two to three minutes or maybe four minutes or maybe five minutes on how she is able, like yeah. myself and Dr. Joy Smith, how she's able to work this business have her own practice, be a mom and, and juggle everything we have to do. Because the last part of this presentation is we wanna take you through our business model and we want to explain to you our business, our opportunity. But first I wanna bring up Dr. Rashonda Conti, our newest Emerald here at Wakana. Are you oh, out there? Thank you, Dr. Rita. Let me uh, start my video. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Rita, for that. Dr. Joy is always amazing. I love to hear Dr. Joy. Um, so with everything that everyone has heard tonight, you've heard about the revenue that's going to be generated. You've heard about the products. I mean, it was a no-brainer for me. Um, yes, I am a psychologist. I've worked in the field of addiction um, for almost 30 years and um, it has been a very rewarding career. Um, and as, an, uh, as working in the field of addictions, you know, we always were taught that marijuana was a bad thing. Um, it was certainly not something that we would advocate for. Um, so my uh, involvement with Wakana was very surprising to quite a few people. Um, but learning and having to unlearn some of those things that I had known before or thought about before, um, you know, when Dr. Joy read through the mission and the vision, she talked about ending that negative stigma and certainly a negative stigma existed. Um, but today we see how far we've come and how much CBD has helped. And so my involvement with Wakana has just been absolutely amazing. Um, but I'll tell you, um, it didn't really start with my being a substance use professional. Um, it actually started because my mother um, was diagnosed uh, four years ago with dementia. 
and um, didn't really know what we were going to do. My sisters and I, my dad, we just didn't know what was going to happen. And when we started to talk with, and I didn't know a lot about memory disorders, um, really hadn't studied, really hadn't done any research. Um, only, you know, just what you hear on television, what you hear on the news, what you hear some people who maybe, you know, have experienced it um, personally, shared some of their stories, but really just didn't know a lot about it. Um, but with in but when it impacted my home um, with my mother, it made me look a little deeper. So I started talking with her memory doctor um, who started giving me um, like a timeline of when things were gonna start happening, meaning some of the symptoms that she was gonna start showing. And she had given us a timeline like, you know, year five, you're gonna see this. Year 10, you're gonna see this. Year 15, you may see some of this, you may see some of that, um, but, that five year line of things that she said we were gonna see, we started seeing immediately. Um, very irritable, um, very combative, um, not being cooperative. And we were like, okay, what's happening? Does this mean that my mother's symptoms are progressing faster than others? Um, so that was very scary for us. And we just didn't know what we were gonna do. So because it was impacting my family personally, it made me delve into it a little deeper. And I started seeing articles on um, CBD and memory disorders. And when I saw that, it said that CBD could be an option. And I reached out to one of the business partners in Wakana um, because I thought I saw a message on Facebook. And so I inboxed her and I said, do you have access to CBD? And she said, absolutely. Well, that was life changing for me because I ended up getting the products. But when I was learning about the products, I'm thinking, how am I gonna get my mother? Because, you know, and I know that, you know, talking about the different ways in which you can uh, um, consume the uh, CBD, I'm thinking, how am I gonna get my mother to be able to put a tincture under her tongue and hold it for 30 to 60 seconds and then swallow it? She's not gonna do that. Again, she had become very anxious, um, very irritable, very co um, combative. Um, again, not cooperating. So how am I going to do this? Well, the blessing was that Wakana offered a product that was a water soluble that would dissolve in a beverage. So I'm thinking bingo. So we started putting that in her coffee. My mother is a coffee drinker. Um, she loves Pepsis, all the things as caffeine probably not good for her, but nevertheless, um, she's 74. She wants caffeine, we're giving it to her. Um, but we put it in her coffee, we will put it in her Pepsis, we will put it in juice, and we just saw this drastic change with her. Um, we also gave her the gummies. Um, we found that she became a little bit more cooperative. Um, she wasn't as agitated. Um, she just, I, I don't wanna so, say her old self, but I really do want to say her old self outside of we knew she still had an issue with her memory, but the behavior symptoms were so drastically um, improved that we just couldn't believe we just couldn't believe it and it all happened so quickly that we knew that this was now the answer so that's when I knew that the, here's a product, and I was not a business partner with Wakana at that time. I was just a customer. Um, but when I saw such a drastic change in her, um, and it wasn't a change for the worse, but it was absolutely a change for the better, um, I'm thinking, okay, I need to look more into this company. And when I did, I'm so thankful and blessed that I did. Because I knew at that time, not only was I gonna help my mother, but I was gonna be able to help other mothers. I was gonna be able to help sisters sisters and brothers. I was going to be able to help husbands and wives. I was going to be able to help anybody who was coming into any issue, whether it was something with, with men, that was mental or if it was something physical, I was going to be a part of that. And in my profession as a psychologist, you know, helping is always what I do anyway. So it was just a no brainer that I'm going to be able to help people um, the way that I normally do. I'm going to continue to help my mother and I'm going to make some additional money. And this ride has been amazing. I mean, I have had the opportunity with these four women um, who have just created a business that has just, you know, if you're on the side of helping, you get that, that need met. If you're on the side of wanting more money, 
you get that need met. I mean, they have made sure that they are all around holistically helping us to be able to take part in the industry that I don't believe, honestly, we would ordinarily have had an opportunity to do because the money that's needed. I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of dollars that's needed. And even when I looked into um, the possibility of a dispensary, I'm thinking, I don't have that kind of capital, but yet these four women that you saw have created this avenue for us, and we should absolutely take advantage of that because, not, again, not only are we talking about making money, and Dr. Joy talked about that, it's a movement, and so it's just a movement that I'm going to continue to move with, and they are not going to move without me, so I am just stuck here forever, and I am absolutely loving it, so I would implore anyone that's taking a look at this for the first time to just really consider that you are going to be able to be this multi multifaceted individual that is helping people, but by default, you are going to have a part of those projection numbers that uh, Dr. Joy talked about. We're going to have a part of that. So I'm very excited about that. So Dr. Rita, thank you for allowing me to share that because um, again, this journey has just been absolutely amazing. Awesome. You want to tell them uh, about this picture? Sure do. So um, these two lovely young men, oh my goodness. So those are my two boys, Jordan and Joshua. Uh, Jordan is 22 and Joshua is 16. And they are the love, love, loves of my life. Um, why I do what I do. Uh, Jordan is actually, he started in the company uh, with me as a millennial. Um, but you know what? He said he saw too much of an opportunity and he said, you know what? I'm going to upgrade. And that's exactly what he did. He's making some smart business moves, following in his mother's footsteps. So I'm excited about that. But they are absolutely amazing. Um, that other picture um, just kind of shows me with my Alpha Kappa Alpha shirt on. So, you know, we have to make a uh, note of that. <laughs> um, but absolutely, um, this journey um, with Wakana has been amazing, just like my journey um, in helping persons um, with substance use disorders. Um, so again, everyone who's listening, take a look. Please make the decision because this is absolutely the right move. Thank you so much, Dr. Conte. Was that powerful? Coming behind Dr. Joy Smith, who is powerful as well, but just letting you know that we absolutely want you to hear this next part. And this next part is about the opportunity. So let me bring up my slides quickly. And um, if you have a moment, you can start putting uh, your questions in that chat box because we do want to take questions uh, at the end of our presentation. So again, if you join late, I'm Dr. Rita McGuire, Chief Medical Officer here at Wakana. I represent the pillar of health. Uh, the, these are my wives, you know, like Dr. Conte and Dr. Joy. Um, I have three amazing children. Unfortunately, I lost my nephew on the far left uh, last year to complications due to sickle cell anemia. He was like my son. He was that nephew son. But Jacob is 29, Joshua is 24, and Hannah is 22. They are my why. They are the reasons why I am going to make sure that this legacy of Wakana is going to be available to their children and their children's children. And like Dr. Conti, my daughter is a millennial or Gen Z. Um, she's in the business as well. So super excited that we have opportunities for our children to be a part of this business model. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist of over 30 years and truly am an advocate for this plant. As Dr. Joy Smith said, I was uh, asked to testify in front of the Judiciary Committee for the legalization of cannabis here in Illinois. So truly, truly, we believe, all four of us truly believe that the key to freedom is business ownership. And so when we look at the industry of cannabis, it's explosive. It is projected to grow by 700%. In fact, since we launched our company, we've grown 162% despite the global pandemic. Our sales are through the roof. We did a million dollars 
in sales in November, super excited. In fact, this ground floor opportunity, we forecasted by 2021, our forecast is to do $20 million in revenue here at Wakana. We are at a $4 million mark right now and absolutely by the second quarter of 2021, we are going to hit that goal. Why? Because we are in two of the most explosive markets. One, direct sales or network marketing and the cannabis industry. When you combine these industries, it's game over. So let's look at the seven ways you can earn income when you lock arms with us here at Wakana, like Dr. Rashonda Conte did, like Dr. Joy Smith did, like many of you on the line did here at Wakana. Well, the seven ways to earn income when you join this company is one through your online dispensary, your retail sales, your shared wealth pool, which we share our revenue with all of you that become leaders in our company through broker earnings, broker overrides, car allowance, and free trips. And as Dr. Rashonda Conti said, you know, she wanted, like myself and Dr. Joy Smith, wanted to get in the dispensary on the recreational side or even the medical side. But guess what? You would need at least at minimum a million dollars, a minimum of million dollars to get into the marijuana industry on the marijuana side. But here at Wakana, on the hemp side, on the CBD side, you're able to have your own online presence, e-commerce with CBD. And in fact, when you have your online website, you're able to earn money without holding any inventory. In fact, each time your customer, your family, your friends come to your website and they shop, we drop ship that product directly to them. You're earning between 20 and 50% commission. Your customers are getting free shipping if they have orders over $50. But most importantly, they are getting products that are affordable, that are natural, organic, and are safe. How do I know they're safe? Well, we test all of our products. We ensure that we offer certificates of analysis on every single product so that you as consumers, as you as business partners, can see that our products are free from mold, mildew, heavy metals, residual solvents, and that the label that's on that product absolutely shows what's inside of that product. So as you start building an organization, what gets really exciting is that yes, you make between 20 and 50% commissions on sales that come to your website, but as you build an organization, you get commissions on those sales as well. In fact, seven levels deep, in your organization, you're getting commissions from those sales on the website. So the very best opportunity in starting your business here at Wakana is purchasing a full crown jewel dispensary. And the reason being, this gives you the ability of opening up all seven levels and taking advantage of getting income. This full crown jewel dispensary is valued at $2,000. It's $998. It includes over $1,500 worth of product that you can start using yourself and you can retail at a 50% profit margin. It comes with also your Wakana University. See, education here at Wakana is very, very, very important. Why? Because you are now empowered to be able to explain how the products work, how the dosing works, drug-drug interaction, how to infuse your, your brownies, how to help folks who want to uh, make more money in their edibles. It also comes with a broker key activation, which means that you're able to bring on agents 
and they have their own online website presence where you're able to make commissions on their sales as well. It also comes with your website, of course. So each time you bring in a business partner and they come in with this full crown jewel dispensary, you earn as a sponsor $200. In fact, you get bonuses seven levels deep each time you bring in someone that purchases a full crown jewel dispensary. Now, we also have something called starter packs. Our starter packs are $219.95. They're our millennial and stimulus package. They are $200 that you can retail products that come in this package. You can take these products or you can retail them at a 40% profit margin. These starter packs also come with the Wakana University. That's our process in educating you. It also comes with that broker key activation, right? So that you're able to bring on thousands of agents that have their online presence and you're able to earn commissions on their sales as well. Now, the Wakana University, again, is our source or our process of educating you. You learn about social media strategies from our CEO, how to build a customer base from our CSO, a CBD one-on-one -on -one from me. You'll learn about essential oils from Dr. Joy Smith, about compliance and compensation from our CSO. Just an amazing opportunity to get that information you need to be successful in your business. Now, when we talk about network marketing companies, we understand, see, Robert Kawasaki understands that the richest people in the world look for and build networks, right? Network marketing company, building networks. Everyone else looks for work. So as you start to build an organization again, you're making overrides and commissions seven levels deep. In fact, one of the richest men in the world, Warren Buffett, we all know him. He believes in network marketing companies. In fact, he has invested in three network marketing companies because he believes in the system, the system of building residual income, the system of building legacy wealth is the way network marketing companies work. So we are uh, very unique. Wakana is a hybrid of a micro franchise and a network marketing company. Own, you're owning your own micro franchise and the network marketing company is very unique because our compensation plan pays down seven levels deep, not to infinity. Infinity means that if any of you on the line have been involved in a network marketing company like I have in the past, you make very little money, right? Because the company has to pay down to infinity. So here, what we're gonna do is talk about our leaders here at Wakata. When you become one of these leaders, you get to share between four and 6% of our monthly revenue. Yes, four to 6%. The first leader is called a Sapphire Dispensary. A Sapphire Dispensary is a team that does $10,000 or more in revenue in one calendar month. A Ruby, like Dr. Joy Smith just hit, she hit Ruby last month in November. She did over $25,000 in sales in one calendar month. Emerald, that's what Dr. Rashonda Conti just hit last month. She did over $50,000 in sales in one calendar month. Now, these women did not do this alone. In fact, there's a 50% rule that applies. When you hit these benchmarks, these leaders in our company, the efforts of the $10,000, $25,000, or $50,000 in revenue or sales volume cannot come just from you. They have to come from the efforts of you and at least two or more business partners. See, Dr. Joy Smith didn't do it all by herself. Dr. Rashawn Nakanti didn't do it all by herself. They had an organization and a team that did that amount of revenue, two or more. Now let's look at our diamonds. 
We have new One Star Diamonds. We have Minister Mooney and Beverly Blair and Lab. They're our newest One Star Diamond. Senator Pat, our CFO, is a One Star Diamond. They did $100,000 in sales in one calendar month. We have two brand new Two Star Diamonds. I'm one of them. Oh my God, so exciting that rallied with my team to get there. And then our CSO, Phyllis Nash, both of us did over $250,000 in sales in one calendar month, all the way up to a five-star diamond. We don't have one yet, but we're going to have many. Doing a million dollars in revenue in one calendar month. Now you see the one-third rule applies, which means the efforts of those sales or that volume of sales in one calendar month didn't just come from the efforts of one person, but at least three or more other business partners. Now, what happens when you do that? You hit these benchmarks. Well, you get to share in what we call our revenue pool. And what happens is that we take the, the sapphires, the uh, rubies, the emeralds, and the diamonds. We put them in a pool. We determine how many outstanding shares there are amongst these leaders. And we share 4% of our company's revenue at the end of every month. Now, what makes it really exciting is that when you hit diamond, you get an additional 2% of the comp company's revenue. So diamonds, one star all the way to five star, get an additional 2% in this shared revenue pool. Really, really exciting. So we also have our car allowance. No, you don't get a Mercedes Benz, but what you do get as a one-star diamond and above, you get $500 toward any car note. We also have a diamond lifestyle reward trip. In order to qualify for this trip to South Africa, you must achieve diamond status for at least two consecutive months to qualify. So again, what makes us different here at Wakana from other network marketing companies many, many differences. We are a hybrid of a network marketing company and a micro franchise. We also don't have business startup fees. There's no website hosting fees. We'll never charge you for your website. There's no required auto ships. There's no balancing of legs in order to get compensate, co compensated. Um, there, there has been a proven compensation plan. It's proven. It's just not designed for the top 1%. We have customer support. We have a shared revenue pool that we talked about. And a business is willable. Most importantly, that when you own your own business, being your own boss means you have an unlimited income potential. So at the end of this webinar, there are three type of people. And I want you to remember your number. Person number one, is someone that's heard the information from Dr. Joy Smith and they want to start some of these amazing products, you're person number one. You want to be a customer. Whoever invited you, you want to go to them and let them know you want to be a customer. Person number two, you still have questions. We're going to take some questions because we have nine minutes left. We're going to take questions, type your questions in the chat box. In person number three, is someone like Dr. Joy Smith was, like Dr. Rashonda Conti was, like myself. We saw the opportunity. It made sense that we could be a part of a movement, not only to end the negative stigma, but to really impact our community in helping them understand that this amazing plant, this cannabis plant can bring back our health, our wealth, create legacy and freedom. Your person number three, you wanna let the person know who invited you that you are ready to get that full crown jewel dispensary. You're ready to lock arms with us here at Wakana. If money is an issue, maybe the starter packs. And if money is really, really, really an issue, that 30 day free test drive. So we're gonna take some questions. We're gonna open it up right now. We have about eight minutes or so before nine o'clock. You can put your questions in the chat box 
And I want to thank Dr. Joy Smith again for your for your support, for your your sacrifice. You know, we're all moms. Well, my children are adult children, but we are all moms. We're all business women. We all have practices. Thank you, Dr. Joy Smith, Dr. Roshana Conte. Please again, we want to thank you as well for coming on and sharing uh, an amazing testimony about why you said yes to Akana as well as a business. And then we're going to take questions. There's no questions in the Q&A. And I don't see any questions in the chat. We must have done a really great job, ladies. Mm -hmm. I, I think... saw one, just oh, one. Did? I can't find it right now, but I saw one. You know, I, sometimes I forget and I'm in a different. Oh, someone asked about the tinctures for gout. That, oh, that you may use a tincture for gout. Absolutely. So when we think about um, the symptoms that gout has, uh, gout is an inflammatory um, sort of arthritis. It is a buildup of something called uric acid. It typically affects the big toe, but it can affect uh, any areas in the body. Very, very painful. Um, so when we talk about CBD, CBD is an anti-inflammatory. So any condition that you're challenged with that deals with inflammation, absolutely CBD can assist with those symptoms. The symptoms of pain, swelling, inflammation. So for gout, I would highly recommend because gout is very, very painful. Either our Hempranium MD, which is our more potent tincture, about 750, 800 milligrams of CBD, or our Hempranium 500 milligrams. I would start out with three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening. I would also get our topical product, our topical uh, cream, our 400 or 500, or even our Dr. Rita's rub. You're gonna use that topically in the area of the gout flare. And then our gummies, also recommend that for gout. In addition to the tincture, in addition to the topical, you're gonna to take a gummy every single night. Why? Because when you have gout, you have that pain, you can't sleep. So it's gonna to assist to help you sleep and reduce inflammation when you're sleeping. Highly recommend a smokable on top of the tincture, on top of the topical, along with the gummy. You're gonna use one of the smokables, either a CBD pre-roll joint or the cartridge. Why? Because when you have that breakthrough pain with gout, you're gonna want something that's gonna act really, really fast. Within one to five minutes, you wanna get that CBD in the bloodstream with a smokable. So yes, you'll need the tincture, you'll need the topical, you'll need the gummies, and you'll need the vape. So you can either purchase that in a customer variety package, or you can just go ahead and get that full crown jewel dispensary, lock arms with us, and get the products that you need and products that you can share or resell. Can I add one little testimony there about gout? Absolutely. So my dad suffers with gout and it typically flares up when he eats seafood. So he'll normally take um, a medication that his doctor prescribed first before eating any type of seafood. And um, it's definitely, it's hereditary. My grandfather, uh, his, my great grandfather, it just passed down. Um, but it settled in my father's elbow in addition to his feet. And so in his elbow, um, and that was the first time ever, but that's what the doctor said it was, the gout had settled in his elbow. So what Dr. Rita just mentioned to help, but in addition to that, I also used the Dr. Rita's rub on it as well. And he could not believe the relief that he got instantly. So I just wanted to add, in addition to those, Dr. Rita's rub was amazing for him too. Wow, so awesome. Next question, Dr. Joy Smith, you wanna address this? The CBD helps sinus infections. Does a broad spectrum gummy help with sleep? Okay, so does CBD help with sinus infection? Um, 
Yes, mm -hmm. CBD can help with sinus infection in terms of alleviating some of those symptoms that you may experience with the infection, particularly the inflammation in the sinus passages. So that's where our first defense nasal spray comes in because the first defense nasal spray not only has essential oils in it that make it difficult for viruses to live in the presence of, um, so that's very, very useful for sinus infection and for what we're dealing with in terms of the airborne microbes with COVID, not to cure COVID, but airborne microbes are around and can get in our nasal passages. But it also has our full spectrum CBD. And that CBD is really going to work to address that inflammation. And it packs a, a punch. <laughs> so you don't need a lot. More is not better. Just one squirt in each nostril, taking care not to snort it up or sniff it up because it can cause a little bit of irritation given that there are hot oils like cinnamon and different oils like that in there that can cause a little bit of uh, irritation if you're snorting it. Um, so yes, CBD can help with sinus. Does the broad spectrum gummy help with sleep? I've taken the broad spectrum gummy just to kind of, you know, test it myself and be a product of the product. Um, it has helped me. I did experience sound sleep and that was after I hadn't taken my power gummies because I was trying to be a really good, good test patient. Um, after I hadn't taken my power gummies, it did help with some sound sleep for me. Again, everybody is different. So the amount of CBD that you may need to take, whether it's in a gummy or a tincture uh, is different for each person. But I did notice uh, some sound and restful sleep when I took my gummy before bed. Thank you so much. Question, are we able to purchase additional stock in the company other than through Founders Package? Diana Coleman, I, um, I'm going to take that question that you are speaking in existence that Wakana one day will be on the <laughs> stock market. But right now, we're not on the stock market. We're not a traded company. Um, so we don't offer any stock in Wakana. The Founders Package is a package that you become a founding member and you will own 1% of our revenue. You share that 1% with other founding members, but we do not offer stock options. We are not publicly traded, but you may be speaking something in existence that one day we'll be up there opening bail. <laughs> so I just want to make that clear so that everybody understands that we do not offer any stocks. Uh, can CBD help with high blood pressure? It can. CBD is a vasorelaxant, meaning it helps to dilate the vessels. High blood pressure is due to inflammation of the vessels, so it helps reduce inflammation. So whenever you're dealing with inflammation, you get high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, obesity, CBD can absolutely be a very great assistant because we never ever want to say that CBD is going to cure your high blood pressure, but we want to give you the information, which is CBD is an anti-inflammatory. CBD is a vasorelaxant. When you deal with hypertension, everything is constricted and inflamed. So it will absolutely reduce those symptoms. Health and healing report from a procedure on Thursday, no opioids using Hempranium 500 um, maximum, daytime broad spectrum gummy, Dr. Rita's rub, vape in between at nighttime, extreme pain cream and power gummy. Oh my goodness. I love that testimony. Thank you, Stacy. Absolutely. I'm just so grateful that you have no opioids in your system. You know, the op and Dr. Conte can attest to this, the opioid epidemic truly stemmed from us in the 80s and 90s being told by pharmaceutical companies that opioids should be used because pain was a fifth vital sign. So we were taught as physicians to just write, write. Opioids have a place, right? Yeah. Maybe post-op day number one and two, but absolutely no opioids should be taken after that. So we are happy, Stacey, that you didn't need opioids because that now has reduced your risk of opioid overdose and addiction. 
Absolutely. Um, so you've got a lot of questions. CBD for lipomas, tumors? Are you saying lipomas? Yeah, I don't know any information about CBD and lipomas. Lipomas are benign fatty tumors. Um, most lipomas need to be excised and removed. Mm -hmm. Now, CBD can help with the symptoms that a lipoma can cause you, which is pain. You know, you can use our CBD tincture, our topical for the pain, but to um, address the lipoma, it needs to be removed, excised. Oh, There's God. two questions in the quest, uh, the Q&A as well, yeah. Dr. Rita. You want to read them? One is what would be the best product for RSD and restless legs? Yeah, restless leg syndrome absolutely is very uh, debilitating and painful. So the tinctures, uh, either Hempranium, I would probably start with MD, our most potent tincture twice a day, three drops, uh, using the Dr. Rita's rub or our topical, also using the gummy at night and the vape cartridge. I like what we call layering our products uh, so that the CBD is uh, at a constant state in the bloodstream that you're always having that CBD. Once you have really addressed and calmed down uh, the the condition that you're addressing, that endocannabinoid receptors have now put the body back in balance, you'll notice that you can start reducing the amount of CBD you're using. But initially, we want to get that under control because it is a debilitating uh, sort of pain. And the last question is, will CBD affect me more intensely if I am on a plant-based diet? No, it should not. We have got a lot of people on plant-based diets, vegans, vegetarians. I would say that because you're on a plant-based diet, uh, your endocannabinoid system is probably a lot more imbalanced than others who are eating fried chicken and processed food and fast food. So that is a good thing that the CBD is going to be able to be more effective and work more uh, efficiently because your, your host is more healthier. Um, someone just entered one more, and I know Dr. Reed has time to, to, to uh, sum this up, but someone is asking about neuropathy in the feet. What would be one of the better options for that? Yeah, so neuropathy is again, another very painful, debilitating condition. It can come from injury or it can come from a long history of diabetes that we see in the medical field. So absolutely using those same products we talked about, uh, the Hempranium MD or Hempranium 500, twice a day, three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening, absolutely a gummy at night. Um, with the topical, you can take either the Dr. Rita's rub or the pain salve cream, 400 or 500 milligrams. You're going to rub it in the area of inflammation and pain due to neuropathy, and then a vape or a CBD pre-roll. Again, when you're dealing with uh, more um, challenging conditions like neuropathy, like gout, like rheumatoid arthritis, uh, those conditions, I would highly recommend uh, with the Hempranium MD uh, and all of the other products to support that tincture, the gummies, the topicals, and the smokable. Um, and once we get that inflammation under control, you can start to notice you won't need as much CBD. You need to change your diet. You know, any inflammation, be it neuropathy, gout, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, all of these conditions, heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, obesity, um, trying to get toward that plant-based diet, removing processed foods, fried foods is really going to be uh, beneficial as well.
think we got I think we got it. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I just want to let you guys know that tomorrow we are going to talk about dementia. So we want you to join. I can't find my slide. Well, we want you to join our talk tomorrow on dementia. Where did I put it? Maybe I put it in the other presentation. Uh, but join us if you're a guest again. You're going to uh, ask the person who invited you for that Zoom link, 8 p.m. Anyone that you know that has dementia, you want to be on the line so you can get the information to that loved one or to that family so that they can get products uh, in their loved one system like Dr. Rashana Conti spoke about her mother. And again, we can't say that these products cure dementia, but what we can say is that the Research shows that CBD can assist with the symptoms of irritability, insomnia, you know, the, the confusion that many of the dementia patients have to give that quality of life back that they are deserving of. So we hope to see you tomorrow evening. Again, contact the person that invited you. It's so important. Let them know you're number one a customer, or maybe you're number two, you still have questions. And then number three, you want to lock arms with us here at Wakana. You want to take this movement, like someone just put in the universe, to that, to that, um, what is it? NASDAQ level. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy a stock. Right. In Wakana. Right. right. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Joyce Smith, Dr. Rashonda Conti. Thank you so much. I know it's late, but we always have fun. We sure do. Thank you, Dr. Thank Rita. you. Thank you. Thank you.